This is Marie from Underground Crafter and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a boy flower loom. If you get a flower loom it does come with its own instructions but I've found that uh, some people learn more from a video. So what comes in the package is a small loom and two other tools. One is a thick yarn needle and the other is this kind of hook that can help you remove things. So one of the things I've noticed in a lot of the tutorials is that people do this a little bit differently so I'm going to share my method. First off I'm going to start with a slip knot. If you're not familiar with a slip knot you're going to turn your yarn into a little loop and then whatever yarn that you have on the top of that loop you're going to pull that up through the bottom of the loop. So now you have two loops. You'll place your hand on the new loop and the short strand and pull them in opposite directions and you'll get a slip knot. And now what you're going to want to do is attach this slip knot here to that small part of the loom that's sticking out and tighten it. Now Boy recommends numbering it from 1 to 12. I decided to look at it like a clock. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But I've seen people do it different ways. So what you're going to do now that you have your loop on there, you're going to pull the working yarn, which is the longer strand, and you're going to wrap it around one and then around seven. And then you're going to wrap it around two and then around eight, three and then nine, four and then ten, five and then eleven, six and then twelve and what you may have noticed is that you're basically moving in a clockwise manner where you're wrapping the yarn around one of the pegs and then the peg that's opposite of it so we're going to actually repeat that two more times so we'll have three levels of loops so you may find it's easier to hold it in your hand rather than keep it flat but it's really your preference so now we're going to go around uh, oops we're going to go around one and then two, and we're gonna go to that loop that's on the opposite side. Three, four, five, six, seven, and we're gonna do that again. So basically what you're gonna find is that, oops, as you keep wrapping around going in a clockwise manner, you're going to layer these loops and when you're done you want to have three loops on each part of your loom at least three you can make them thicker if you want so I'm just going to show you here oops if we pull this down you can see that there are three loops and then I'm going to fasten off this particular piece now depending on what you're making with your flower you may or may not want to fasten it off. You may want to use the same color, but I'm going to use a different color. So I'm going to fasten it off with about six or seven inches of slack. And then I'm actually going to make another slip knot and also attach that to this little peg and then just tighten it up. And that's just so you don't have the strands going in your way. Now I'm going to take a separate color and I'm going to cut off about three feet of yarn. I found that you actually don't really need that much, but I think one of the things about yarn is it's always good to have more rather than run out in the middle, so I say go for it. And then you're gonna thread the yarn needle with this new color. And now what you're gonna do is, I like to start at this point right next to where this extra little uh, yarn holder is. You're gonna insert the yarn uh, needle from underneath between the two pegs and you're going to pull the yarn up leaving a, a little bit of slack about six inches and I actually like to wrap that around this same point too that way I just have one spot where I'm holding on to yarn so once you've done that what we're going to do is we're going to work our way clockwise again going between the pegs so we're going to go directly across to this peg here, go down with the yarn needle and pull it through. Okay, and then we're going to work our way clockwise. So we'll start with 
between the next two pegs, pull the needle up, and then we'll go on the opposite side, going down between the next two pegs. And we're gonna keep doing this all the way around. And if it gets caught around the peg, just scooch it over. And you'll wanna tighten it up between each one because we're gonna make this little centerpiece kind of small and cute, or at least I am. You can do it whatever way you like, of course. So go up and down. And again, we're just moving clockwise around going up and down uh, between the two pegs. So the next peg you'll go up and then on the opposite side you'll go down and you'll continue doing that clockwise until you've gone between every peg. So there you go. And a couple more of these and then we'll be done and then we'll move on to the next step. Oops. Sometimes that happens, especially when you are using the long strand, but as I said, I'd rather have a long strand than run out because I think we all know how annoying it is to run out of yarn uh, during a project. So now that I have these, I'm actually gonna also tighten up a little bit that first strand that I had. And now, just to make this a little bit even more secure, I'm gonna work in between each petal, so in between those actual loops that we made. So I'm gonna just start, um, since the yarn is already on the bottom, I'm gonna start from the bottom up. So I'm gonna go to the very next one, pull the yarn up through there, and then again, we're going to the opposite petal and down, and you're gonna keep working your way around clockwise. So you'll go under in between the next petal going up and then the next petal on the opposite side going down. And again, you're gonna be working across. So now that I've done this petal, I'm gonna go to the next petal clockwise, pull it up and then go down on the petal directly across and then moving clockwise, I would go up through the next petal and then down through the next petal directly across and so on all the way around until I've really gone through every single petal. Now, sometimes if you're pulling them really snugly, it's actually a little bit tough to know if you went through every petal. This is especially true if you're using the same color of yarn. So you can always just check um, and by like pulling apart the petal a little bit, just going like this and seeing if there's yarn in it. And now we've gone through all of the petals. So once you're done through all of the petals and you can see now you may be worried about this little strand but we're gonna tie it up so it's not gonna matter. Once you're done with all of your petals, what you're gonna do is use this tool to pull them off. They're actually surprisingly hard to take off because there's a little groove on each one of these that keeps them in place. So I'm gonna use my little hook tool and I'm gonna slide it under each petal and then just use the peg to kind of hold it and work them off all the way around. Now, if you're doing this project with children, you may wanna, if depending on their age, you may wanna do this part for them because obviously this tool is pretty pointy and then you'll pull off your petal. When you get to the end, it's pretty easy to do. Now, depending on what your project is, there's some different approaches to the petal from here. Once you're done, you can remove them off this too, and I find the tool helps as well because those slip knots may be a little bit harder to deal with. What I do is if I'm going to be attaching them somewhere, I'm gonna leave a longer strand. If I'm not attaching them somewhere, I'll cut a pretty short strand of yarn just enough to kind of tie it off. And there you go. You have your very own flower loom flower using the boy flower loom.